Hello, welcome back to IT Landy Nugget Course Module 5. What we have covered so far, we covered one, two, three, four. These are the outline of our course, just in case if you are interested in the previous lessons. Now we are focusing on five, and then you can see the rest of the modules, part of that course. Module five, it is around writing and formatting your the output. Okay? Under that format, we covered formatting commands, out commands, write commands, and string command or formatting and then we spoke about you know uh, the type of the formatting and default later on and then we move toward uh, writing redirection string variation and we spoke we started with the literal strings variable strings here strings and special character today we will do the brackets and script block this is the plan now let's we start with the script block. Script block equal meta hyphen programming. Script blocks are extensively used where object backslash for each object. A script block is a piece of a code surrounded by curly bracket. Script blocks are used extensively in a PowerShell statement, but they can exist in their own right as anonymous or unnamed object reference. Other program languages have used the same idea as script block in the past and refer to them as lampada function. Script blocks are in fact meta programming okay so it's the data if it's all of it now what is meta programming meta programming is the writing of the computer program that write and manipulate other programs members as their data or do the part to compile their piece of work yeah a runtime in many cases this allow programming to get more done in the same amount it takes to write the code either manually or automatically okay script block can be executed directly and script block should handle pipelines output need to be implemented the process between the brackets and it can return data and take arguments. The call operator execute a script block. I mean the definition just like the previous one or like a function except that the function keyword name are omitted whereas the parameters bracket statement is not present in the script block. It's the only difference. Let's we have a look. Next are the using format operator. String formatting in Visual Basic, VPS or VP6, and in PowerShell, Java, and .NET. Format changing, this is not list code, but formatting is separated from data. In total, there are three different ways of building strings. Okay, start with script name equals script.ps1, function do something, intercode, and you get access denied. Okay, PowerShell has many formatting and output commands, but sometimes custom formatting options are needed to accommodate the PowerShell operators like C sharp. An example hyphen f is the format for binary operator shortcut and same thing about string uh, semicolon format method for an array this should ex uh, you know uh, expand the indexing around it so 
so we have the formatting I've got some exercises for us here again it will be uploaded you can play with them you can see them or put them on the screen for us we have operators we have example or result description you can see the basic syntax format for specifier indexing alignment format string and more as you can see on these tables okay I'm not going to read through the end, but I'm just going to mention the basic example. The sample list for all process with the handle count can be displayed as get hyphen process, pipe it for each object, and then you can put between 0 to 25 date and time and the start time for the handler. Okay? That should be able to give us a good indication. Now, I mentioned earlier. I have a lab for us which we can use it you know before we move on and the lab I've uploaded the script for us you can do the following you can do get the process of the current PowerShell session and you can print out the name you can see the basic example here the process size and you can see like get services 132 name and the output will be you know a good example for us again more around the example file name character size operator and you can use for each get type in child name for each object to string method to you know get the information for a basic you know uh, examples next we have the uh, using split operator Split strings using the given separators, regular expression. Can also use script blocks as an operator or separator. The split operator split one or more string into substring, and you can change the following elements on the split operation. Delimiter, that will be the default white space, but you can specify character, maximum number of strings, and you can basically number of substrings as well be specified and options that have specified the condition under the delimiter which will be matching i think that's all what i had for you for today uh, that will be part four part five will be the last part to replace strings and for this module again so far for today we just spoke about script block and then using format operator and the lab which are associated with it that's all what i had for you for today hopefully you have enjoyed it i would recommend to go through them again and again and again until you can digest it thank you for watching goodbye